the Olympic Festival. As we move to rotation number two, and Amy Chow, 16 years old from San Jose, on the balance beam. She mounts with a strength move called a plange. She sets up here for a difficult pass. Back handspring layout, immediate back handspring layout. Perfect. Jim, Amy Chow is one to keep your eye on. She has world-class difficulty. Watch this full twisting backflip. Little bobble, but that is very difficult. Setting up here for another difficult move. She'll do a full twisting back handspring. She'll swing down onto the balance beam. Mm. Amy's mother wanted her to be a ballerina. She is graceful on this beam. She has all the difficulties. She just needs a little more polish, but she's got everything she needs. Here's a dismount you don't see very often. Triple twisting, laid out backflip. Great job. Amy Chow competing for the East team with a brilliant performance on the beam. This move is reminiscent of Tatiana Gutsu, the all-round champion in Barcelona. It's extremely difficult. And that's a 9.8. She knows all about good marks. She's a 4.0 student back in San Jose. Now, Kelly Davis competing for the West. She is the highest-ranked gymnast in this competition. She's fifth-ranked in the country. She starts off with a very basic mount, Kip. She goes upright to handstand, reverses direction, shoots over the low bar. Nice full twisting giant. So far, we have not seen a release move where she flipped. She's lacking some difficulty here. She's got a dis nice dismount here. Double laid up back yeah. Big Woo. step there. Big step will cost her, Julianne. That'll be a few tenths of a deduction. Kelly Davis and her score, 9.7. Over to the vault, and Sarah Kane competing for the North. Now, on her first vault, she had a 9.5. She wants a better score here. Yurchenko with a half twist. Beautiful landing. That should score better. The best score count. Best score of two. This certainly will be the one. 9.875. One of the highest marks so far of the competition. And back to Donnie Thompson, our leader after one rotation. She's on the beam. And her father, Michael Thompson, mother, Debbie, and Donnie's older brother and sister looking on. She begins with a very difficult mount. She front flips onto the balance beam. Very well done. A lot of the gymnasts opt to do easier mounts to get themselves on. That was a very daring mount. Back handspring, two layouts. That is stacked heavy at the top of that program. Jim, the thing that's impressive about Donnie is she's very poised. For the young age of 13 that she is, she's a very tough competitor. Turn straddle jump. Come on, Chris. Now she's going to combine two moves here. She does a front flip right into a split jump. She looks very relaxed and very comfortable, but this is a tough event. Setting up for a dismount. Two back handsprings, double back tuck. <laughs> this is showing 
good difficulty and good originality. She does a front flip. It's hard enough to land that, but she actually jumps out of it into a split jump. And here's two back handsprings. Very difficult that she actually does two back handsprings and tumbles into a double back flip. They score it, 9.7 for Thompson. Family's pleased, and so is Donnie. What a bubbly personality she has. To the vault now, and Martha Grubbs from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. She looks a little concerned, Julianne, because she scored 9.15 on her first vault. But I'll tell you, Jim, this is a very difficult vault. Double twisting your Chanko. She had a bad push off her left hand. Let's see what she does this time. Good push, great landing. I can't tell you how hard that vault is. Martha Grubbs, the oldest competitor here. She'll turn 18 in October and a 9.8. Quite an upgrade from that first vault, so that one will count. So our standings halfway through show Thompson opening up her lead to a tenth of a point after conquering the beam, but a bunched up field and hot pursuit. All signs pointing right now toward Donnie Thompson.